Mm -hmm. He's been called every name under the sun, every mm. phobic, every ist. But actually, I know he's none of those. So mm. actually, it, I just want the world. I'm kind of really desperate for the world to see my friend. We have now got great friend of Chris Moyles and massive friend of the show, mm. Andy Peters yeah. is here, everybody. Good morning, Andy. Morning, morning. We, so we saw you yesterday on Good Morning Britain saying very lovely words about our friend Chris. Now, how much did he pay you, Andy? Uh, I'm on 12.5% of his fee, which ah. is half of Matt Hancock's fee. Right. So quite frankly, I'm doing all right out of this. <laughs> OK, I'm just trying to crunch those numbers. But yeah, uh, but, uh, <laughs> yeah. right. OK, um, well, so I mean, talk to us because, you know, Chris better than he knows himself. Genuinely, you've obviously watched that show for years. You know, Chris Moyles better than anyone. How do you yeah. genuinely reckon he's going to do in there, first of all? I th th the Radio X listeners, the radio station he used to work on listeners who might not have even migrated will all suddenly go oh my god it's him mm. the first thing they'll say is oh he's lost a lot of weight mm. and then they're like oh my goodness he's actually a really nice bloke because i genuinely think he will be the and i use the term care bear but i think he will be the person that looks after me i'm on the telly right now um he will be the person that look, sorry i'm easily that's you'll also learn that as well toby i'm easily distracted it's by very, myself. toby he's very easy <laughs> i should explain andy peters is talking to us live on radio x but he's also got a tv on to his right which has got yes. himself on it yeah. oh i'm on the yeah. television so showbiz. andy you've been on the tv for many years you shouldn't get that excited about it now if i'm on the tv it's I a big want... deal but for you i mean it's just <laughs> literally been going on for 30 years <laughs> yeah, this is true. But I do always like to check the outfit that I'm wearing and think, would I wear that again? And on this occasion, it's a yes. Anyway, back to the first last <laughs> It's a yes. I'm, I look excellent. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm having a look and I'm liking what I'm putting down. <laughs> I, I can't believe... I, hey, come and have a look how good I look, everyone. I can't believe... <laughs> that is, Dom, it's more the case of... I can't believe I still make an effort 34 years later. But yeah, I do. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Fair enough. I think people are going to be so surprised. I think mm. he'll do well because we all know when he puts his mind to something, he does it. And when he told me, mm. and I kind of kind of did that sort of nervous, <laughs> uh, what are you doing? <laughs> um, I've been there like six times. You were going to hate it. But I think mm. he's very single minded in that way. And I think he'll be able to do mind over matter concentrate and want to do well and i think he will be desperate for people to see the real him yeah. yeah i think that's true and also he is genuinely fascinated by other people isn't he it is not yes because some celebs are you know not naming any names are pretty self-absorbed oh go them, on name some names live they, a little they find themselves fascinating whereas genuinely i don't think chris does and i think he likes sort of genuinely speaking to lots of other different types of people yeah. i think that's why he probably will do well Mm. I think they always put somebody in there every year mm. who is the talker, the interviewer, who yeah. will elicit stories from other people. And I think he is that person. I mm. think that's kind of where he's got. And also, th the audience do have a love-hate relationship with Chris. You know, mm. some people love him, some people don't. Mm. He's been called e every name under the sun, every mm. phobic, every ist. But actually... I know he's none of those. So mm. actually, it, I just want the world. I'm kind of really desperate for the world to see my friend, and mm. you must all be the same. We yeah, completely. To see completely. Our friend. And I think how long he stays in there is going to be massive as well, because we all know Chris. Chris, once you're sort of in his inner circle of friends and family, is yeah. the most talkative, confident, lovely person in the world. But he is actually, you wouldn't expect when you listen to him on the radio, he is shy and nervous around new yeah. people. So I think the first few yeah. days, he's going to be quiet. And everyone's expecting he's him to go hate. in there and be this mouth, motor mouth, but yeah. he won't yeah. be at all. No, he won't. He'll hate, and also, as we know, around celebrities, and we use the term loosely, always, mm. he is really shy. He's re he's not that, I'm out at Mahiki's. Is that one of the mm. famous clubs that people go to? I think so, I don't, I don't know. know. Yeah, I only don't go know. to the pub, you know. Yeah. Yeah, so you, exactly. He'd rather go to the pub than go to the it place in central London. Mm. So I think, you know, when you... I, here's the thing, I think, him and Olivia Atwood, I think they're going to mm. form a really close bond. Yeah. Because she's lovely. I've worked with her, and I went in thinking, oh, God, here we go, another love. And she was <laughs> sensational. She's great. Funny. Yeah, and I think I think they'll get on really well. I really do. Yeah, that's gonna. It's gonna be fascinating seeing Chris build other relationships. Mm. We'll probably all get very jealous. 
Well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, hey, stop being so pally to Olivia Atwood, Moyles. All right, what about your friends back here in Old Blighty? Why are you hugging Mike Tyndall? Yeah. <laughs> Radio X. The Chris Moyles Show.